Hey guys, you are welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I believe you all are doing great this season. It's actually winter period, I couldn't help but make a neck warmer for myself. It is cozy, stylish and made from African print. Without wasting so much time, let's quickly dive into today's video. The following materials were used, my fabric, lining, pins, interfacing, needle and thread, padding, scissors and my measuring tape. So I have just cut out my padding which is about 40 inches long and about 11 and a half inches wide. For the fabric and lining, I used the same measurement, um, 40 inches long and about 12 inches wide. I later took out about half an inch around the edges of the padding for easy sewing and easy turning. So maybe as you watch you will understand why I took out like half an inch from all the edges. I will be attaching my interfacing to the fabric so that it will be stable. So this interfacing is not that thick but then it gives the fabric um, little thickness. So this is how I just placed my interfacing. The shiny side will be facing the wrong side of the fabric. Then you use your hot iron to um, press it on it. So this is me after um, attaching my interfacing and I'm just trimming the excess. So this is how it's going to look after attaching the interfacing. It is a bit stable now. So the next thing I went on to do was to place my lining that way with the right side facing down. Just take note of the arrangement, although the lining does not really matter because most times these linings have almost the same uh, right side and wrong side. But then you can uh, strive towards perfection. Then lastly, I just placed my padding on it like this. Any side too is fine for the padding. If you notice, the padding is a little smaller than the fabric and the lining, and that's because of the half an inch I took away from the edges. This particular padding usually stretches whenever I sew on it. Part of the reason why I took out the half an inch uh, around the edges. So now I am just going to be holding everything together with pins so that it doesn't wobble while sewing. I have just finished pinning it down and I'm going to be taking it to my sewing machine now to sew. While sewing, I'm going to leave about say maybe 5 inches opening so that when I'm done sewing, I'll be turning it inside out from that opening. Whichever pattern you choose to sew is not bad, but I will be starting from that um, corner there and I'll be sewing it in that pattern. Just watch. When I was done sewing, I just um, got my scissors and I trimmed the excess fabric and lining so that after turning inside out, the neck warmer will relax very well. So trim it to the best you can trim it. But be careful not to go into the sewing. So this is me turning inside out. See how you will do it. You will make sure you turn inside out from the fabric and the lining. Where the two meet is where you are going to turn inside out from. And this is how they should look. So people usually make so much mistake when trying to turn out three pieces like this. So it's just very easy, very easy. And you can just use your fingers to bring out those um, edges. 
um, you may decide to give it a good press but I, I didn't do that. It was now time for me to cover the opening so I just folded in the rough edges that way then I got my pins. Sometimes the pins may not just be strong enough so it's good you get a very pointed one which I just did and now I've transferred it to the sewing machine to sew down. It's really easy, it's really easy and cozy as well. So when you are done doing this, that will be almost all, but at this stage you can leave it this way or you can introduce some designs. But I went ahead to put a little design, so I've just measured that part where I'll be introducing my trimming. Trimming is also for beautification, so I'll just be attaching my trimming that way and that's the part that will be exposed. So in a way it's going to give me the direction of the part of the neck warmer that will be exposed and the one that I will fold in. So I just put a little trimming and it made it look even more beautiful. I am now done fixing my trimmings. The next is to attach my press buttons. I need a soft life. I don't want to be tying and tying. So I just prefer to use my press button and I'll be fixing these press buttons in some um, strategic points on the, <laughs> on the neck warmer. So I've just put one on that first corner and this is the second one I am fixing. So just watch I'm going to get the third part where I'll be fixing the third press button. So this was what I did. I just folded it like this. So I'm going to be marking that part and I'll be fixing one press button there as well. With this, anytime you pick it up, it's just ready to wear, no stress and it saves time. I will still check if I will have to still add one more but for now this is how it's going to look. Can you see it? So this is just how it's going to look on the neck. So by placing it this way I will know where to put the remaining part of the press button. I'm now putting the um, other part of the press button so that it doesn't um, look unequal when it's worn. It's just so simple and stylish. You can just see the beauty the trimming is giving to it. This is just how it's going to look on the neck. And again, by folding it in this pattern, you will know where to actually fix your buttons. You also know if you will add extra buttons. On the whole, I used four buttons. So I deliberately left these parts for you to see where I fixed the buttons. You may want to know how many minutes it took me to make this neck warmer. Well, it didn't take that long. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes. It could even be lesser for you because now you have seen the design so it's just to go straight ahead to the making. Once you've tried it out, kindly let me know your experience in the comment section. Let me see how it went for you. But for me, it was not stressful at all. There is no limit to the kind of designs you can create on it. You can add flowers if you want to. Anything at all will look good on this neck warmer. But for me, it was just the trimmings I added and I felt it was okay. And this will be the last um, press button I'll be fixing. And it will be okay in that corner as well. So that it will also put the um, neck warmer in place. It's very nice. When I wore it, it really prevented cold from getting into my body. And some days back, I posted a video on how I made my head ruffle. 
when I actually made this neck warm, I was looking for something that would match with it. Maybe whenever I put it on, so I decided to come up with that headband, that head ruffle. Uh, if you have not watched it yet, kindly watch it so that you will know how you make yours when you want to make. So this is how it actually looks when you open it up. So this is just how it is. Does it not look stylish? Isn't this beautiful? So with the head ruffle, uh, it's just a perfect combination. Man, the day I wore this, people were like, wow, where did you get this to buy? I was just answering with a cool smile. I know you've really enjoyed this video and I also know you found it helpful. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are yet to join this beautiful family. You could also give this video a thumbs up as well. And if you are subscribed already, I encourage you to keep watching my videos. Do like, comment and share this video. Once again, compliments of the season to you. See you in my next one and bye.